With the widespread adoption of smart meters, the adaptation of appropriate segmentation plays a pivotal role in advancing undisruptive, safe, and effective high-speed telecommunications for smart grid utilities. Automated meter reading versus advanced metering infrastructure. What's the difference? Let's start with AMR. AMR is the communication technology utilities use to automatically collect consumption and status data from meters. AMR systems can be either walk-by or drive-by, with a data receiver in proximity to the device. This data would be stored on a local collection device, usually a laptop, and then uploaded to the utility cloud data center offline later. Its advantages include helps to obtain data that is difficult to access, reduced costs, enable accurate and timely billing, no significant IT resources required. Now, let's talk about AMI. AMI is an integrated system of meters, communication networks, and data management systems that enables two-way communication between meter endpoints and utilities. Unlike AMR, AMI doesn't require utility personnel to collect the data. Instead, the system automatically transmits the data directly to the utility at predetermined intervals. Let's dive a little deeper into AMI. AMI can provide the necessary information to improve energy efficiency, detect leaks and malfunctions, and help utilities manage costs and customer service more effectively. This is achieved by enabling two-way communication over a fixed network between the utility system and the metering endpoints. Two-way communication capability is the differentiator between AMR and AMI. Owing to its operational advantages, AMI will lead market. The early days of AMI saw narrowband powerline communication, PLC for short and RF mesh as the primary communication technologies driving the adoption of AMI. As communication technology has advanced, newer technologies such as broadband PLC and low-power wide area networks, also known as LP-WAN, have become more the trend. You have numerous wireless protocol options to choose from for your IoT connectivity and it's a crucial decision for the success of your IoT products. Here are five wireless protocols to consider for your next IoT application.